Hey everybody, I'm Jacob Castro and welcome to another video on Jacob's Aquarium. So before I start this video, I just want to tell you guys, for those of you interested, by the way, for those of you that aren't, you don't have to go watch these videos, but uh, I do have more videos from my Apple Store campout and from the, Apple uh, from the Apple Store on the iPhone 5S launch day. So they're pretty cool and uh, it shows the whole opening of the store and everything. It's really nice. So uh, they're on my other channel. Um, and it's youtube.com slash the green cheek conure if you would like to watch those videos Okay, so now let's get to this video I've had a lot of questions from people asking me where I got my lava rock and uh, why I chose lava rock for my aquarium and The main reason why I chose lava rock was because it has that look you know kind of like the stones that Takashi Amano uses in his tank where it kind of looks a little you know it looks miniaturized you know it looks like a much larger rock but in a miniature form the wear on it the lines the um, just the look of it looks like it could be you know a big boulder type rock but in miniature form so um, when you create a planet tank and you use a hardscape you know like rocks you don't want to use rocks that are so big and so you know bulbous you want to use rocks that kind of create a miniature underwater world. You want everything to fit to scale. And that's one thing a lot of people um, forget to do when they create their planet tanks is they forget to keep a certain scale to their planet tank. Um, like for example, they'll use uh, very narrow leaf plants like, um, like Rotala, different species of Rotala, and uh, they'll mix that with a very broad leaf plant like Anubis. Mixing those two plants together doesn't really fit to scale. So it doesn't really uh, look that realistic, in other words. A very broad leaf plant like Anubis should be going in a much larger aquarium because you're creating a much larger environment. But um, you know you want to keep the scale to the size of the tank. So for my 50 gallon tank, the scale of plants that I have are perfect. I do have one broad leaf plant inside my aquarium and I'll show that to you guys right now along with the name because I can't memorize, memorize all the names of my plants. <laughs> Um, I do have one broadleaf plant in my aquarium, but as you can see, the leaves aren't so broad that they take away from the scale that I'm tr that I'm trying to create. So, um, in regards to keeping scale in your tank, uh, the lava rock work really really well to create a really nice underwater miniature environment. So, being that my dad works in the building materials industry and he works for a really great company here in Southern California. I have access to a lot of different materials like different types of rock, sand, uh, potting soil, uh, mulch for my plants, you know, and it, even if I wanted to, they have really raw earth dirt, you know, if I wanted to dirt a tank someday. Elsewhere in the country, I just don't know where you can get lava rock. I don't know if uh, every Home Depot in the United States sells lava rock or, or every Lowe's or practically... Um, you know, uh, home home and garden store, basically. I don't know, you know, I really don't. So I, I can't recommend a place to go get Lava Rock, but I know where I get it. And I know that there are, are a lot of people that have messaged me when they saw uh, the video of my tank, uh, the first video that I made showing the Lava Rock, that really want to use this in their aquarium. So I thought maybe it would be cool if I did like a contest where you guys can win a little batch of Lava Rock and I could ship it to the winner or I could open up a little online store and start selling lava rock to you guys. Um, I know it sounds kind of weird to sell rocks because they're like, they're from the earth, you know? <laughs> but um, I wouldn't charge much for them. And uh, basically I would probably charge a little bit uh, and then just most of the cost would probably just be to, to ship it because I really don't see any point to charging like $10, $15 for rocks. I've seen actually um, rocks on eBay that people are selling that kind of look like the rocks that Takashi Amano uses in his tank for like 30, 45 bucks and I'm just like that's that's crazy. Let me know if you guys are interested, post a comment below and I'll see what I can do uh, to get some of those out to you. I will also offer international shipping for those of you that live in other countries that would like to use lava rock in your tank as well. So now that we got over that, um, I just also wanted to tell you guys why it's so good to use lava rock in your tank. Not only because they create a really nice underwater miniature environment, but also because they're very porous and you can grow certain types of plants on these rocks. Now the plants that you can grow on these rocks have to be plants that have really, really thin, tiny roots. 
baby tears are perfect for example and the uh, regular size baby tears would probably work as well um, but basically any plant that has really thin um, roots that grow really long and like to burrow you know in the dirt which mostly all plants you know do but basically I guess you just want to pay attention to the size of the roots uh, very thick uh, you know plant or very thick roots you know won't work with these rocks they won't really dig themselves into the pores of the rock that well so I don't recommend that but yeah being that lava rock is so porous the roots from certain plants will grow into those pores and attach themselves to the rocks so it's especially cool with baby tears as you can see because they will eventually over time cover you know an entire area of the rock and it just looks so cool you know because when plants are growing just on the bottom of your tank you know in the foreground and then you have plants in the background it looks cool but it looks even better when there's plants actually growing on the hardscape that you created I think it just adds more character to the tank and actually adds a little bit more realism because in the wild you see a lot of that you see a lot of plants just growing everywhere growing on driftwood growing on rocks growing on roots you know a bigger tree so I think it looks really cool so in conclusion, Lava Rock is a really, really nice rock to use for your hardscape and your planted tank. It'll create a really nice, amazing underwater environment. If you use a lot of it, you can create some really, really crazy setups. I've seen some setups where people have actually piled Lava Rock high on both sides of the tank to create like a little canyon. And then they uh, put like a white sand at the bottom and uh, you know black sound a uh, black sand around the uh, white sand to make it look like there's a little trail going through the canyon or to make it look like it's like a dry lake bed you know type thing it's just really awesome what you can do there are so many different things you can do with with lava rock so i highly recommend that you guys try them out if you're creating a new tank or if you'd like to switch out the hardscape that you have now and use lava rock highly recommend it guys you have to try it so once again let me know guys if you are interested in buying some lava rock from me. Um, I don't know if other people are doing this already, but I figured since so many people have asked me uh, where I got it or uh, some people have asked me that they want to use it but they can't get it in their area, I figured it would be nice to make that available to you guys. So let me know if you guys would be interested. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to all my longtime subscribers. I love you guys most of all. You guys are the uh, only reason why I do these videos. And I'm really, really, really appreciative that you guys keep coming back and watching all my new content. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much again, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.